Through a unique collaboration, the Eastern Nazarene College Departments of Biology and Engineering and the South Shore Natural Science Center have designed and installed a new exhibit in the Science Center's interactive hands-on museum, the EcoZone. This video outlines how this team developed the exhibit. Building on an existing partnership with ENC's Department of Biology, through which students come to the Science Center to work on field studies and provide internship support, we began talking about the addition of an interactive video kiosk for our EcoZone Museum, based on fertile pools. The concept was to build an interactive video kiosk oriented for children that would explore the ecology of vernal pools. Professor Twining and his students shot video here at the South Shore Natural Science Center and elsewhere on the South Shore about vernal pools and their ecology. Four short videos were produced along with a quiz that would test the students' knowledge of the facts they just learned about vernal pools. I think an exhibit about vernal pools is ideal for the South Shore Natural Science Center. It will help parents and kids connect the animals that they see in the ecozone with the habitats where they're found. I also hope that it inspires the next generation to go out and protect these beautiful habitats and the creatures that call them home. I hope that kids walk away from this exhibit thinking, ah, oh, those vernal pool creatures are wicked cool, and they're an important part of our New England landscape. In addition to filming the videos, Professor Twining introduced us to ENC professor Dr. Cornley of the engineering department. Dr. Cornley and his students helped us design the IT aspect of the exhibit, and finally we hired Eric Paulson, a local Finnish carpenter, to help us design the look and feel of the cabinet to be installed in the EcoZone. My student and I um, first met with Tracy to discuss our original requirements for the kiosk, which were the ability for the kids to choose from at least four videos. Uh, the kiosk must be interactive with a split screen on one side, the children will have the videos that they can watch, and on the other side they can decide to take a quiz. The kiosk must function from 120 volt and be movable. When we first started thinking about making this video for South Shore Natural Science Center, I really wanted to get a student involved. And the first person I thought of was Sarah Andrus. Sarah helped me on a video project last spring and she brought a lot of energy to it. And I thought she would really connect with the kids. And I was right. Sarah did an amazing job narrating this video. This was a really fun project and I'm so glad that I had this opportunity. It was really great to use the things that I have learned here at ENC to educate kids coming to the South Shore Natural Science Center about vernal pools. I think what this project provided was an opportunity for the students to experience firsthand an actual part of development cycle as it is currently being done in industry using basic principles of systems engineering. When working on projects like this, we as students are able to obtain real-world experiences related to our career before we graduate. And it enables us to give back to the community as engineers. The value of partnerships like the one between Eastern Nazarene College and South Shore Natural Science Center cannot be overstated. It benefits students like me by giving us opportunities to work on real-world projects while at the same time we are able to help our communities and advance the mission of the South Shore Natural Science Center. It's, it's a win-win situation. situation.